And Corey Alley's after it on the near boards. He takes a bump from behind. And another one from Brett Van Oss. And the puck comes out to center. Thomas will play it across to McCooley. Fell. And that allows Van Oss to pick it up left wing side. Here's a pass in front. Walks in. They shoot. They score. And that'll be Ben Assad with the goal as McCool fell on the near side. And that allowed a two-on-one to develop. And Assad makes no mistake. And the Canucks have the first goal of the hockey game. And it's one to nothing. Person, he'll float it into the corner. Marshall in the hunt for it. Jockman comes in as well. Now comes back to McPherson left point. He'll shoot, tip, scores. Andrew Marshall, I believe, got a stick on that and tipped it up over Patrick Gora. And exactly three minutes after the Canucks made it one to nothing, they make it two to nothing as McPherson let the shot go. And Andrew Marshall tipped the goal in, his 12th goal of the season for number 12, and the Canucks have a 2 nothing lead. A shot by Tambasco, blocker saved by Drackett through traffic. Slater Strong in the corner now. Strong with the puck. Comes out of the corner with it. Hits a candle, a shot, rebound, they score! Jacob Candle gets the goal, and the Bears about to hit the ice. I told the folks at the front door that I would get it from row three, so here we go. And yep, right on the Lamford sign. See, there we go. And Nate's got his down on this side. Uh, yep. Hey, look at that. Four for four. Oh, one more. Oh, here comes the little one. Yep. Bingo. Done it. <laughs> four for four from the top level. The naysayers. Didn't watch me play baseball back in Breton. All right, but a goal is in. <laughs> kind of lose focus. A late one at 18.51 for the Kodiaks. Welcome back, Jacob Kendall. You've been missed. He had two whacks at it. Drackett made the first save, and Kendall just continued on. And uh, deposited it into the back of the net, and the Kodiaks are back within one. It's 2-1 to one. And for Kendall, his uh, third goal of the season. Trying to look through, and Kupka just couldn't quite pull the trigger. He was open here in the near side. Now Mowbray, center of the ice for Bauer. He'll get it to Brown. T.J. Brown in front to Kupka. Shoots. He scores! A power play goal for Kyler Kupka, who was being dumped in the crease and still... Managed to get his stick on it and put it in the net. And the Kodiaks will come back to tie it on Kupka's 12th of the year. It's 2-2. One of the mysteries of officiating that I have, and I have many of them. Here's Vanell at the left point. A shot through traffic, stopped by, they score! It was stopped by Drackett and I think Mackenzie Bauer who was knocked down on the play, somehow put the puck between the legs of Drack at the, the uh, Canucks were complaining. Now the linesman over to talk to the referee. As Magus is complaining. But Bowers got the goal, and the Kodiaks get another late one here with under two minutes to go in a period, as they did in period number one and have their first lead of the night with three unanswered goals, and it's 3-2.